Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Today I'm going to give you a little news and updates for Evervolve with the Nougat ROM on the HP Touchpad. Today we'll be covering the new DevSpace forum, how to easily update your ROM, and how to get root access working. First off, let me introduce you to the Devs Base, the new home for the Evervolve ROMs. They pretty much completely moved out of XDA, don't expect those threads or forums to be updated anytime soon. Post all new questions and comments and queries here in these threads, either one will do. One thread is hosted by developer Elgin Skater and one by Flintman. These guys deserve our thanks, they've worked very hard to make this happen and keeping it up to date and moving along quite well indeed. I'd recommend giving them a little PayPal donation, a cup of coffee, a beer, goes a long way to help development and show them our appreciation. Once you've had a full look at these threads, I'd also recommend stopping at XDA for my full install guide if you haven't already got it installed. I've got a step-by-step -step guide and video with all the information, links, and everything you will need to get Nougat installed if this is your first time hearing about it. Look in the video's description for all the appropriate links, and note you won't find devs based links over at XDA Developers as the moderators will not allow us to post any links to competing forums and have removed the links I've tried to put there. Now let's go to my HP touchpad and show you how to update the Evervolve Nougat ROM. You may have noticed notifications coming up letting you know there's an update available. If you click that notification it'll take you to the update menu. First I'm going to show you how to get there manually. Click on the gear symbol there to go to the settings menu. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the about tablet. At the very top you'll see an Evervolve updates menu. Click on that. Here we are in the update menu. In the upper right hand corner hit the refresh button to check for the latest ROM. Once you've located it Click on it to see more menu options. You'll notice once you select it, two buttons appear in the top. The little clipboard will be the change log. This lets us know what is different about this ROM, what changes have been made. Click OK to exit that. And then beside it, there's a download icon. Click that and you'll begin downloading the ROM. Once your download's complete, click on it again and check out the MD5. Now this lets us know if there was any data corruption in our download. If those two numbers match up perfectly fine, you're all good to go. Now we're ready to flash, so click that little lightning symbol and get ready to flash. Now here we are in the flash menu. We have a few handy options. I'd put a check beside wipe Delvic cache and wipe cache before flashing the ROM. This is essentially going to do a dirty flash. We also have the option of making a backup. You can just put a little check there if you want to make one while you're doing the update as well. All very nice, handy, and automated. Once your selections are complete, just hit reboot to begin the install procedure. Select OK, and just relax and wait for your ROM to be updated. It'll automatically reboot into twerp recovery and flash the ROM. Once complete, the tablet will just reboot itself automatically again and restart back into Android. Congratulations, you have successfully updated your ROM. Now that our ROM's all updated, I'm going to show you how to get the root access. Again, swipe down from the top and go to the gear symbol for the settings menu. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Now just above about tablet, there's hashtag sudo menu. Go in there. And here we have the root access. Click the root access menu. Now we can enable it for apps only or apps and USB debugging, whichever one works best for you. All you have to do is select it and it's enabled and ready to go. You're now a super user with root access. Please like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.